Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is March 2nd, 2017. And I have a very special video that I want to share with everyone. And this is the, the video footage that started it all, that started the war between myself and several of the hardcore Planet X debunkers. And when they saw my video, they came after me with a vengeance. And what you're about to see has still not been explained. And you're going to be looking at some video footage from 2007, specifically back in late February. This is a stereo behind core two image of a planet orbiting the sun at a very, very fast pace, less than three days. And this video information was emailed to me and Steve Olson. When we saw the information, we really didn't know what to do about it because we weren't sure what it was because it defied all planetary movement that we understood in our inner solar system. Now, at first glance, you would think, okay, that might be Mercury. Well, looking at the retrograde of Mercury in 2007, Mercury is nowhere to be found and Mercury takes 88 days to orbit the sun not three and a half days. And as you can see, by looking at the photograph of the solar system for that specific date, Mercury is around, but not seen in these pieces of video. Now, the guy from Astronomy Live told me that it was the moon, our moon, in that piece of video footage. And then I stated, listen, that's impossible because our moon is 238,000 miles from the earth and the earth is 93 million miles from the sun. So how would that be possible that our moon orbits the sun all by itself and orbits the sun in three and a half days? Impossible, I said. Now, this is further video from different positions, different cameras. This is the stereo behind Core 1, all the same date. And you could see how fast this planet orbits our sun. And you could also see how large this planet is. And you can see the interaction of the sun as this planet orbits behind the sun. Incredible footage, absolutely spectacular. And the individual who sent us the information remained anonymous still to this day. Now, I published my video pertaining to this information that you're seeing now. The person who emailed all of the information to me claimed that the planet was named Enoch by NASA. And NASA knew about this. But during this time in 2007, not many people were, were looking at these images. So the images and the information was never taken down from any of the public access for people to look at. But the individual that emailed me this information told me that this is part of the planet X nemesis solar system. The video image appears on every single camera pointed at the sun. I mean, what are we supposed to think, ladies and gentlemen, when someone comes to you and they blatantly insult your intelligence by telling you that is our little moon 
orbiting the sun all by itself. And then he came out with a video. And in his video, he stated that he designed and programmed an animation showing me that this was, in fact, our moon. Well, after I viewed that video footage and his, his personal animation and programming, I absolutely did not believe it because it is impossible for our moon to orbit the sun all by itself. If the moon orbited the sun, well, it would be its own planet. It would not be a satellite of our planet. So there you go. Take a good look at this footage. Take a good look at the pictures and the video. And what do you think? Do you think that our moon orbits the sun all by itself? I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce one of our new affiliate sponsors, Food for Liberty. And they provide the highest quality long-term food storage, water purification, and survival prepper supplies. All foods have a 25-year shelf life, certified non-GMO ingredients, and also a gluten-free option. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a very smart idea to have at least a 30-day supply of food and water in the case of any emergency. So there will be a link provided in the description box under this video for Food for Liberty.